Welcome back to another FAQ video. In this video, we are going to be looking at the frequently asked questions based on the pre-release. But since the pre-release is always unique, there are no specific answers. But I will be explaining some important concepts. Stay till the end of the video to know for what questions you have to prepare the most. Subscribe code for in case you haven't. And also click that bell icon so that you get instant updates when we post a video. Most of the first question in the paper is writing the variable and constant. So make sure you know the constants and variable used in each of the task code. One such question is the one you are seeing right now. Data types are also asked. In this, you have to write either string or real or integer or character or boolean. Make sure you prepare for this question well since this question carries 6 marks. This question is an easy one. Let's move on to the next frequently asked question. The next most common question is asking you to write the full code for the task 1. As per my research, there is higher chance of asking task 1's code. Then, they will also ask task 2 or either task 3's code, assuming that you have already written the previous task code. As you can see the screen right now, all three questions are from three different year past paper and most common is explaining task 1. So, be prepared with your task 1. Let's move on to the next question. So another most common question is they either ask you to mention how you validate this task or they tell you to write the type of test data. So there are four types of test data. They are abnormal data, normal data, boundary data and extreme data. Let's see what are those in detail and with an example. Normal data are data which should be accepted. Extreme data are the upper or lower limit of the data and should also be accepted. Boundary data is a pair of values at each end of a range. The data at the upper limit or the lower limit of expectation and that should be accepted. The immediate values before or beyond the limit of expectations should be rejected. And the last type of data is abnormal data. It falls outside the range, so is rejected. An example is a system has validation to ensure that only integers between 1 and 10 are entered as an input. The test data for this could be normal data is 3 since 3 lies in between 1 and 10. Boundary data is 1 comma 10 and it is accepted whereas 0 comma 11 is also a boundary data but it is rejected since 0 is less than 1 and 11 is greater than 10. Extreme data is the two upper limits and the lower limits. So 1 and 10 are the extreme data. Abnormal data is 5.7, 14, 100, 13 or in words, etc. Now let's move on to the next question. That was a bit of theory in a programming paper. Now let's move on to the next question. So the final question are always like this. Telling you to edit one of the tasks with a criteria like the one you see on your screen. So be prepared in editing a task as per the criteria and note that it is not necessary that you have to write the declaration of the variables and constants but writing that will make your job much easier. So that is the end of the pre-release FAQ. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe code 4 and hit that bell icon for instant updates.